di dalam saya mana. that one can get a taxi in a minute. Eh? If you don't have a car, that's all. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Good evening. Maureen, where are you coming from? I just came here. You won't even let me put up my feet. I asked you a question. Where are you coming from? I went to see friends. These friends have homes and they stay in their homes with their husbands, eh? What is this? A quest? I mean, you went to see friends and you stayed there till 11 o'clock. It is not yet 11. It is quarter to 11. Who was it that dropped you here now? Oh, a good Samaritan had decided to be kind to give a woman standing by the side of the road a lift home. Warren, does it occur to you that you are a married woman? If I'm married, then go. I should not go to see friends. Come on, do you buy me as a slave in this house or a piece of furniture in your living room? I just asked you a question. Does it occur to you that you're a married woman? You have no respect for your home or your husband that you allow a man to bring you right into this house. Look at that. Take this room. Call Ngozi and see if it is not in her house I've been since. Look at that. If you don't want people to be giving me it, why don't you buy me a car? What is it? Everything is suspicion. If I want to follow me, do you think you will know about it? Even if you know, do you think that there, there's anything you can do about it? What is this, Seth? Please do me a job, what the rest? And Daddy, eh? why is Sid always harassing mommy? Don't you know she's a woman and she has right to her own privacy? It's not fair. It's not fair. Why? Simply because someone gave her a lift home. I mean, I don't know why he has to make all that noise all the time. She just came back? Mm, five minutes ago. And you said daddy was making noise. Abigail, let me ask you. If you were in your husband's house, will you come back to his house by close to midnight? Oh. So, a woman is not supposed to go out again to visit her friends. Is that it? For God's sake, which of her friends have ever come to visit her and stayed till almost midnight? Hmm. And why should a man come to drop out? What sort of rubbish is that? Ah. Eh? Man, you people are all the same. Oh, so everybody is getting jealous simply because someone came to drop mom at home, isn't it? Let me ask you, when mommy was going out, why didn't you people buy her a car? Doesn't she have a car? Doesn't she? Oh, she has a car. <laughs> she has a car. That 1975 Riketi Honda, is that what you call a car? If you marry, will you buy that kind of car for your wife? I mean, doesn't mommy deserve something like, at least she could manage a Honda CRV? Huh? Would that be too much? Like father, like son. you allow a man to drop you at home? Don't you think that's a sign of disrespect to your husband? Samuel. Mom. 
I bore you in my womb for nine solid months, paid your school fees, trained you, and fed you until you have become this big buffoon that you have become now. And you think you are wise in your own eyes to bite me into my room and teach me what is right and what is not. You can cost me all you want, but that will not stop me from telling you the truth. There's a right way to do things and a wrong way. I mean, you might not agree with that. But don't you understand that you're rubbing his face on the mud when you do things like this? Give him a little respect. He's a man. How do you expect your friends and his to look at you and him? Who cares about what his friends think? Who cares? Where are they? Where are those his friends? Where we couldn't find food to eat in this house? Where were they? If you have nothing more important to talk, sit it down. Out of my room! Mom, I hope you don't regret this one day. Get out! Get out! Stupid boy! My father was useless son. Stupid people. You know the right things and yet you can't do them. Your father doesn't like me! Why do you think you have to take this family? Right things are wrong things. My foot. Where's your mom? Oh, she went out early. And your sister? Uh, well, she says she has an early lecture in school. So she went with mom. You don't leave anything to eat in the house? There's nothing to eat. But I can buy bread and make tea for you. Don't worry, my son. I want to go and see the parish priest. Go and take your bath and come and drop me off, huh? Uh, there's no car, Dad. Mom went out with the car. She did? Yes. Okay. Go and call a taxi for me. All right. And so I decided to come and see you before the hazards of the day overtake you. It's my pleasure to welcome you, sir. Please sit down. Hey, yeah. Hey, these old boys of mine. <laughs> you can say that again. These days, for me to stay on my knees in prayers for my members is almost a tax beyond me. The spirit is willing, but the body. It's becoming weak every day. Uh, so what's the problem? Well, you know, I have only one problem in life. My wife. What has happened again? Father, it is not a question of what has happened, but a question of what has not happened. Maureen is growing progressively worse every day. I don't understand. Um, well, whatever she used to do before, at least she used to be a little bit discreet about them. But these days, she flaunts her disrespect and contempt openly. When I ask questions, I am roundly insulted. Father, I have a mind to give up this relationship because I am fed up. No, you know it's not possible. It is for better, for worse. You know it. Sometimes I wonder why I took those vows. Oh, yes. Whatever reason, they have been taken. And you know what funny thing? God will not change your wife. She's the only one that will change herself with help of prayers from you. What type of prayers have I not said for her? You will continue. It is a never-ending story. Until you see that thing you desire. The change you desire from her. 
Do you remember the other time when she had to run away with the children and you were the one who asked me to go and ask her to come back? I can't remember. Elders, it is not questions we have come here to ask. And we have also not come to apportion blames. The only reason why we are here is to ask our sister Maureen to come back home. Or whatever the problem between them is, there is no need to break up this family and jeopardize the happiness of the children. Sir and Lady Udoji should sit down and talk things over and settle their differences in the privacy of their home. That is how Christians handle matters. Is this one also a Christian? So if they start counting Christians, you will count yourself in as well, eh? Wait, morning, wait. Christian indeed. Wait. Uh, Father, it is only because you are here that we are listening to this matter. Our daughter came back to this compound with bruises all over her body. Look at it. She told us that her husband beat her up. When we gave her to Dodgy, we did not know that we gave her to a boxer, the tiger. All we are saying is, if he's tired of her, we will gladly take her back. Yeah. We are not poor here. Eh? Oh, no. We can take care of our own boy. Yes, yes. Yes. Hello. I have never for one day raised a hand on her. She's here, ask her. I've never slapped her before. She has come here to tell you people all sorts of lies. And you believe her? She is the one that slapped me. Hey. It's a lie. This man. Now tell me which of you will want to condone a woman who goes about slapping her husband. If any of you will stand a woman, your wife, slapping you, then you have a right to stand here in judgment. If not, please stay silent. Hello. What I have come here is to ask her to come home. Not because I cannot stay without her, but because I do not want my family to break up. I am a knight of the Roman Catholic Church, and my family should be a sterling example to all believers. Knight, my foot. Shut your mouth. Did you tell us that you slapped your husband? Do you believe this man? Uh, wait, you believe Lauren, him? wait. It's enough. It's enough. In law. If what you have told us today is true, we have no hands in this matter. We did not bring up our daughter to go about slapping her husband. We are the ones that owe you an apology. Hello. Go home. Please. We will bring her to you. Okay. Thank you very much. Eh? Thank you. Father. Let's go. God bless you. Bless you. Ladies, this is the last time you'll ever ask me anything. Next time you ask me any stupid question, I'm going to deal with you spread. Come back here. I'm not coming back anything. I am living with my children. Don't even bother looking for us because nothing will make us come back to this accost house again. So many things have happened since then. I have refused to tell anyone because I felt it is not the right thing to do. But Father, to be honest with you, I have had enough. It is crystal clear that my wife cannot live with a man in the house. And it is crystal clear that she is bent on wrecking our home. And I'm thinking that I may have to oblige her because I am tired of peace talks. And how and most especially to God, 
Mani asks you what happened to your home and to your marriage. God has eyes. Yes. He sees what is going on. I have remained a faithful, caring husband. I have not done any wrong to my wife. All I understand is that she wants to live her life her own way, the way she wants it. And God will understand that. No, God will not understand. He has made you the head of the home. The priest in the house, you will answer to him and to him alone. Well, you don't worry. It will be okay. Or would you want me to talk to her? If that would be any good. I believe it will. So I call her in the evening. Okay. Thank you very much, Father. It is not a proposition that I can entertain. I am a Christian woman. I have a husband and grown-up children. It would have been difficult to believe the first time I went to that supermarket and I collected the number. But what I feel is, you're not getting any happiness from that marriage. If not, you wouldn't be here with me. I came because you called and said I should come. So why would you want to answer to my son? You are a nice cultured man and I do not see anything wrong in spending time with a nice cultured man who is friendly. Okay, thanks for the compliment. I'm also praying that this relationship will be beyond being friendly. May God hear your prayers. Amen. Respect your Christian views, and I will not want to do anything you don't want me to do. I also respect the fact that you're married woman. I will not want to break your home, but there is so much more we can be to each other beyond religion and marriage. God has never found that anyone trying to get happiness from wherever he or she can. And I know we can be happy together. Life is a proposition like a glass of Bacardi. You never know what it's return out to be until you taste the rum. Yeah, well spoken. But I also know that life is beautiful. He put a force one to make it so. He decided we should come out for lunch. <laughs> Dennis, my mom. <laughs> Have you anyone who's telling me about it? The way she makes it sound, you are the best mother of the world. Thank you. Mommy. <laughs> anyway, I don't know about that. I, I wouldn't want to disturb both of you. Just go ahead and have your phone, eh? Yes, mommy. <laughs> the beautiful daughter you have there. I'm not surprised. Coming from you. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the compliment. Oh, thanks. Eh?
this family is at the crossroad. It is very evident that the relationship between your mother and I has deteriorated to a point of no return. And the fact that my business has run aground is not helping matters. If there had been money in this house, maybe everything would still be all right. But your mother has her eyes on things of this world, and that is what has broken this home. Dad, <coughs> it's not as bad as that. I know you people have your misunderstanding, but that does not mean that this thing cannot be sorted out. There is nothing to sort out anymore. She has decided to live her own life and that I would not be part of that life. Any sensible woman would have, out of the money she has made uh, from the businesses I opened for her, helped her husband out in his time of need. Everything I've made in life, I have spent on this family. And now that her finances are on the ascendancy, I have become a church rat. I, Chief Dutch, have become a poor church rat. But I know that somewhere down the line, Everything will be all right again. Oh, yes. Something tells me that everything will be all right again. Dad, if you will permit me, I would like to talk to her. There is no point. I am only telling you this because you are my son. And you should start preparing yourself because nobody knows tomorrow. It's not a pleasure to see you. I'll be telling you a lie. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sit up, please. Yeah. And what do we offer you? Uh, it is too early in the day to drink some. Thank you very much. Okay. What brings you? I was passing, and uh, since you've not been in the church for quite some time, I said, let me come and know what is wrong. There's no problem, Father. It is work that is holding us down. This same business is tying you down from serving the same God that gave you the business. Father, you know, the business is still a young one. If we don't put in time to it, we will not succeed. Don't worry. I'm sure that after this phase, everything will be all right. I pray so. <laughs> There's one more thing I wanted to discuss with you. Your husband... I knew it. I knew it. I knew that this stupid man has come to report me to you. I knew it. He did not report it to me. I noticed he was carrying a burden, and when I asked, he told me there was a problem in his house. And that's why I came to address it with you. And what is the problem he says is in my house, that it's not in other people's houses? If only you can come down, and you will hear some godly advice that will help both of you write this down. Listen, Father, I am not riding any storm with anybody. Is it by force that we must stay married? If the thing is not working, then I will just pack my things and go. This is not like the other time you people came and begged me and I came back. Now I am a woman who can stand on her own. And no lout, I mean no lout, can make me miserable. Ah, what is this, Seth? If I go out, trouble. If I do not go out, trouble. I drink water, trouble. Am I the only woman who has a husband? Eh? Or am I the one that killed his business? If he says he's a man, let him go and pick himself up first and stop disturbing my life. Listen, madam. No, you listen, father. Listen. 
if this is the reason why you have come to see me, you just better get up and start going now because I don't have time to waste talking rubbish with anybody. It's still too early in the morning. How about you first of all? See you're busy. Maybe when you're done. No, no, no. Whatever you want to discuss, you go ahead and say it now because I'll be going out and I'll come back late. So say it now. Okay. Um, Mom, it's, it's about Daddy. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. So he has sent us so low that it is not only to the priest, he now reports me to. He also reports me to my son. Mom, it's not, it's not like oh, this. Sam. Your father is not worth discussing. If he is such a nice man, what are you still sitting at home doing? Eh? Is it not other parents that are paying for their children to get admission in school? What has he done about your own admission? Mom, that is not what I want to discuss with you. I wanted to ask you to help Dad and revitalize his business. I know you now make money from your shop and he is the one that set it up for you. And now that he's having problems with his own business, I think you should at least help him out. I have always known that you're that, just like your father is. Is he here? I should pull out money I use in running my business and give to him so that both businesses will run aground. Eh? No, no, that's not what I mean. My goodness. Come on. How do you think we are going eating in this family? Mm. Do you think it is your father that has been giving me money to put food on our table? Eh? No. That is not what I'm talking about. All I've been trying to do is to see this family stand. And you're the one that is tearing this family apart. Mom, I tell you. You will reap the fruits of your actions. If you don't change. <laughs> Dear, please take these things upstairs and find out something to eat. I don't have time to talk with losers. Take them upstairs. Samuel, you are the one that is always accusing everybody in this house of having a bad mouth. Meanwhile, yours stinks. I mean, if you have one iota of respect left in you, you wouldn't talk to mom the way you just did. Right now, She's the head of this family. Yes. And should be respected accordingly. Yes. Do you mind him? You think your father loves you? Hmm? Wait. The moment he gets his business running again, he will just forget everything about you and take care of himself alone. Stay there and be deceiving yourself. Send this is up to up to and get me something to eat with Because I want to go out now. Get us something to eat now. Yes, mommy. I'm waiting for you. Go out now. 
You are fighting for your father. Yes, come in, come in. Hey, mommy. Hi, How are you? Well, have some fun. <laughs> Thanks, mommy. Are you coming back tonight or are you sleeping over in his house? I don't know yet. It depends on how late we finish. But whatever happens, I'll call you. Just have plenty of fun. Plenty of fun. Thanks, mommy. Take care of you. Love you. Bye -bye. <laughs> have fun, my dear. Man by the tools. Oh. Good evening, Dad. Where are you going? Uh, some of my friends invited me out. And it is like this you're going to. Come on, Dad, don't be old fashioned. I mean, everybody's wearing this. Will you shut that thing you call your mouth? Huh? Because everybody is wearing this. Does that mean you should follow them and dress like a street girl? Mm -hmm. Just pack it up there. Nobody has invited you into this matter. Ah! Uh -uh. You are going out and you didn't think it necessary to inform me beforehand. Well, I told mom and um, she gave me permission. Your mom permitted you to go out like this? Yes, daddy. Okay. Go on. Nice. Why should you come doing things like this? I walk out of this house looking like a street girl. Your sister is an adult and she has chosen her own way. Oh, come on, Dad. I um, brought her up well. But if she chooses the way to perdition and destruction, that's her business. We are all creatures of choice. Everybody in this house is beginning to sound like broken records. If I tell you where I'm coming from right now, what is it going to do for you? Please, eh? <clears throat> Does it occur to you that you're still in your father's house? Why would you go out at night and stay the night out? I'd be your wife. Boy, oh boy. And does it occur to you that I am very, very tired? like to sleep right now.
Where are you coming from? Huh? You went out last night. And it is now, this morning, that you deemed it fit to return to your home. You're not your matrimonial home, man. One more word from you. One more word. And you will not have a tongue to talk to any other person in your whole life. If I went out yesterday and came out this morning, what business of yours is it? Why did you become a policeman or a judge? Who are you? You see? Can't you see it? It is what you're doing that Abigail has followed. She also went out last night. And it is this morning she came back. What are you people doing? There's a man in this house and he happens to be your husband. Your husband, mom? Now get out of my room. Get out before I do something you will regret all over your life. Out! I am not going anywhere until you answer my question. And who owns the car that you drove home? And I will slap you again if you say one more word. Just one thing, then I will slap you again. Listen to me. I brought you into this world and I can as well take you out of it. So be careful. Let this be the last time you will lay your hands on me. Hey, Sam. Don't talk to your mother like that. Who owns the car you drove home with? If I tell you, will it remove you from your poverty? Look, woman, I asked you a question, and if you do not know it, you have overstepped all bounds of reason. And this will be the last time you do. I don't have time to talk foolishness with you. What do you mean? For... Ah! How dare you touch me? You slapped me. I will do it again. Don't ever touch me without your filthy hands. Who are you? Give it 
to the next miserable man that you enter here. As for me and my daughter, we are leaving you for good. The only thing that will bring me back here is to collect the rest of my things. I am leaving. Papa! Useless son! Stupid father! Useless house! My God! My God! My God! My God! Hey! Don't worry, my son. You did well. Your mother is a woman who's not capable of giving or receiving love. And such a woman should be left on her own. They did a good job of repairing the windscreen. Yes, they did. And um, that's something I need to give to you. Give to me? Yeah. What is that? You have a new house. Yes. And you're about starting a new life. And I want to be part of that new life you're starting. So I want to have a stake in it. So, don't bother to return the keys anymore. They're yours now. Yeah. This key? Yeah. <laughs> you are giving me this car? Well, uh, permanently for now, yeah. I have several of it and I want to give it as a present. A new car to go with the new cars. How about that? Oh my God! <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> wow! I thought that by now she would have learned her lessons. She moved out three days ago with my daughter. It is a girl that is my major problem. Who knows what she's being exposed to. At first I thought good readers to bad rubbish. But my father lived with my mother till they both died. I did not come from a broken home, so why should my own be broken? I, I, I sometimes it makes you believe that uh, you have not succeeded in life. What do you do to do? Go to her 
people and ask her to come back home. Whatever damage my son did to the car, I will pay for the repairs. But the audacity of it. It beats me. I know that at least my daughter would want to come back home. We are a family. It has not always been like this, you know. I remember when there was joy, laughter, and love. You know, sometimes I just sit back and ask myself, where did I get it wrong? Sir, I don't think you got it wrong anywhere. I just think your wife has chosen a different path. But if you want to go and see her people, that would be a good idea. It may yield results. Hmm? How is the city? You can see we are doing well on court. Yes. <laughs> hey. um, the car outside, is it your own? By the grace of God. Ah, I can see that your husband is doing very well. <laughs> Uncle, if it was for that one, hmm. he's no longer my husband, though. Ah, hunger would have killed us. <laughs> Tell me, what do you say about your husband? What happened to him? I said, he's no longer my husband. I have left him. Again? What else do you want me to do? What will I be doing with a man who has no ambitions in life? A man who cannot get up and do something for his family. Is he the only one whose business has problems? Mbano. Have other men given up in life? At all. So, I want to make a better life for my children. And I cannot continue to wait for him to do something for us. So I decided to take matters into my hand. If it's the uh, answer, sir. Other nights, I did not make it move. You can see what God has done for us already. Yes. If we had not left him, would this door have been open for us? Mbamu. Uh -huh. If he is a right thinking man, since we left him, why hasn't he come to look for us? I can see you are doing very well. Why won't I do well, Uncle? I, I have ambition. Yes. I want a better life for my children. Good. Ready. All that is in the past now, Uncle. We came to see you people. See how you are faring and know how we can help to ease up some of your problems here. My daughter, hunger, hardship, everything. Uncle, this is 30,000 naira. Eh? Hi! I know it is very small. And it has also been long since we gave you people something. Oh, hmm? wow. But you know, now we are just trying to pick our lives back together again. Since the dog finished beating me, I spent so many months in the hospital. Huh? Yes, I'm just recovering. Oh. So don't oh. worry. My daughter, thank you very much. This is more than I have ever seen in one place before. I thank you. And may God continue to bless you. And may he show you what to do to increase you the more and more. Amen. If it's not for him, if he did not tell me to leave with Dodge and I left with Dodge, we will see happen where we were I agree. today. I agree with you, my daughter. Let me go and uh, find you something to put in uh, your bed. Don't worry. Uh, uh, sit down. Uh, we, we will take something when we come back. Uh, we still have to go and see Dave Thomas and they will perform. Okay. Uh, when you come back. Yes. Mm -hmm. we'll see you there. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, Where are you coming from? 
I'm going to buy things for the house. Which is supposed to be which way? That way. Too bad, not my way. I would have dropped you. No problem. So how are you doing? By the grace of God, I am fine. address of the house just in case you want to come around I didn't say you should go and give it to dad you know more I'm just giving it to you just in case you need anything all right thank you very much okay take care of yourself Bye. It's a home and it's a court. God, please give us peace in our It's about mommy and Abigail. I know that I'm the one that caused the fight this time. And I think it is also my responsibility to put things back together again. But I can't do it without your permission. Dad, I don't want this family to break up. We have been through a lot together. Can't you talk to mom? Appeal to her to come back home. From what I know, it's not about who says sorry. The important thing is that both of you come back together again. That if you don't, we will be the ones to suffer it, finally. My son, there are many things you don't understand yet. Dad, I understand everything. I am a man. I know how you feel. But what about us? Your children? Sam, a man can make a mistake. A woman can get into an affair with someone who's not her husband for one reason or the other. But a right thinking woman, when she realizes herself, will stop. But when a woman decides to have an affair and flaws that affair in her husband's face, then it is either she has a cause or she doesn't want it marriage anymore. And I think your mother fits both me. Dad, I know mom very well. I know that she's a very insecure woman. But she needs our help. She does not need anybody's help. And she's not insecure. She is greedy. And wants to acquire whatever she can lay her hands on for herself. And that is the force that is driving her. Dad, God does not condemn anybody. And he does not give up on anybody. He has not given up on more. And I don't think we should either. I ran into Abigail. I know where they have moved to. Dad, please, I want you to go over and talk with her. I'm sure that now she must have reflected on things that happened. 
and she would be willing to talk with you. I will think about it. Thank you very much.
Can I at least come inside? Come inside to do what? Hmm? Do I just like you enter the house of prostitutes? Hmm? Do saints mingle with devils? No, calm down, okay? Just calm down. I am not here to quarrel with you. I only came to make peace and to apologize for smashing the car. Mom, I, I think you people should come back home. Come back home, please. I can guess that hunger has started dealing with you and your father. So now tell me, if I get in there and pack my things and start heading towards that God-forsaken house, who do I leave the whole of this place for? You? Mom. Okay, I admit, it's a nice place. Yes. But I want you to know that life it's not about what we acquire or how much we spend. Life is about relationships. It's about the people we love and the people that we share that life with. Hmm. Mr. Wiseman, I do hope we have a right to choose the people we live with, those we share our lives with and those we love. Yes, Mom. You do have a choice. You do. But that choice should include your family. Yes. I know that your father has sent you because he called me last night. But you go back and tell him to stop bothering our lives. And you too, if you choose to stay there with him, you should stop bothering us until you make up your mind to become something in life and come over to the right side. Hmm. Mom, Mom, wait. Mom, wait. Mom, I just told you I came to make peace. Mom! what happened between us. I was the one insulted. What I have come is to ask her to come back home. We are a family. A husband and the wife do quarrel and after they settle. <laughs> <laughs> Our daughter is not here and she has not told us that you people quarrel. So what is there to settle? Whatever it is, she told you. Hey, 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 hey. If you don't want something bad to happen, you people should leave this compound now. Udoji, did you hear him? Remember what we told you when our daughter first ran back to us. We told you we did not give you our daughter to be used as football. She told us how you beat her up and sent her to the hospital for one month. That's a lie. Why are you here? We have come to see you for peace. We don't want this family broken. Sir Udoji here is a knight of the church. People are looking up to his family to show good example to the world. We don't want this family to break up. Hey, what you people are speaking is English language. We want you people to leave this compound now. Young man, don't you have respect for elders? Respect? Wait, let me show you how to respect an elder like you. Just wait. This magic. We don't dream magic. But you people are still here. You people are still here. You are still there. Calm down. 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 Hey, you people, come and take your drink away. It's like you have more mad people in your in lost place than that I want to be that time. Father, 
you're the one that said in your word that it is good for brethren to dwell together in unity. King of glory, I do not know how else to present this to you. But take a look at my home and see what is happening. I lift up my father, my mother, and my sister into your hands. And I ask you, Lord Jesus, to touch their hearts. For the sake of us children, bring us together again. Let the love that you promised us be shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Let your grace and your peace that passeth all understanding rest in this home. Thank you, Lord, for all you have heard me. And I know that you will grant my request. Thank you, King of Glory. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Oh, Simon, your Bible teaches that a man who cannot fend for his family is worse than an infidel. That is exactly what he has become to us. Instead of taking care of us, he has become a burden to us. To tell you the truth, I'm sitting here with him because you are sitting here. You left his house on your own? Yes, I did. And to tell you how serious I am, you, you place this ring on my finger so it is fitting that I remove it in your presence. Udoji, this is the ring you place on my finger for our wedding and I'm giving it back to you. If you people want to make his son a priest, you can go ahead. That is your business. After all, nobody consulted me in this matter. A fat word of good it will do him. I hope you all are happy. <laughs>